Practice number four, first day of full pads. Uh, had a uh, spirited practice like we would expect in the full first day of full pads. And uh, through four, you know, four days, I really like the energy and the focus that our players uh, come to practice with. Uh, they're practicing with the purpose. Um, we're further ahead defensively uh, than we are in the other two phases of the game, spring practice. Uh, we don't do a whole lot of special teams uh, scheme work. It's more uh, fundamental stuff. But defensively, we've got a lot of players back, and uh, there's more um, consistency with the scheme you know, on defense. So uh, obviously, we're ahead, and, and I like the direction that, that that unit is going. We're getting better at a lot of things on offense. Uh, every day we go, we, we're getting better at uh, uh, something little that uh, makes a, a big difference in our success. But uh, like where the team's at, uh, we got uh, competition Saturday coming up this Saturday. It'll be our first uh, opportunity to really scrimmage. Uh, we have some competitive drills for winner loser day uh, this Saturday, so we're excited about that. Uh, as we continue to progress through uh, spring ball, uh, um, excited about Student Appreciation Day and, and getting students here in the bubble and fans to come see our team. And uh, obviously, uh, you guys know about the big announcement with Big and Rich and Spring Fever and the spring game coming up on the 22nd. So, uh, with that, I'll go ahead and just open it up to questions and I guess fire away. Chris, you guys had a raise on gross on Tuesday. What uh, went into that decision? It's obviously his second stint with the football team. Uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've known about him um, since we got here and know about the past and the situation that, um, you know, came up with a group of individuals. But uh, through our homework and, and uh, our research, uh, you know, he came back, honestly, and, and uh, wanted another opportunity. Uh, and because of what he's been able to do here in school and with the wrestling team and uh, through, uh, you know, my conversations with Scott, he's done a great job. And uh, we want to give him an opportunity to come out and see what we can do. It's you know, spring ball right now is a tryout for him to, to see. Um, you know how he fits in with our team and our locker room and fits into what we're doing uh, offensively but um, great kid I love the kid uh, from what I know uh, of him during our time here and uh, the little bit that, that he's been over here and excited to see what he can do here this spring. Chris, what? regarding the uh, running back position is your preference to have a bell cow like a go-to guy and uh, I guess where does Gus Edwards fit in when, once he arrives? Uh, you know, I, I can't make any comments about what Gus is going to do when he gets here because he's not here mm -hmm. and uh, you know I hate to give predictions and, and say things about someone that, uh, you know, it's never been on campus and we haven't really seen do anything other than the film from Miami. But, uh, uh, you know, off, you know, running back wise, it's really running back uh, by committee. Uh, when you play in a league like the Big Ten, you got to have more than one back. You know, if you've got one star, that's great. And, uh, you know, then you, you feature the guy, but you've got to have multiple running backs so you can make it through not only a game, but the season. And uh, hopefully that's what we're trying to build is depth at our running back position. And uh, I, I like uh, the way those guys are practicing right now. I mean, I, I think through the first four days of spring practice, they're really practicing harder and, and uh, with more focus. And uh, their execution at running back uh, is a lot higher than it was at any point last year. Chris, how, how are uh, the Mitchell brothers adjusting, coming along? What are you seeing from them so far in practice? Uh, I, I think they're doing a great job. I just uh, talk about Amir first because he's been here longer. He was here uh, all fall. Um, uh, it was a tough fall for Amir because he was sitting out, uh, couldn't practice. He was on a scout team. Um, you know, just uh, true freshman stuff uh, that uh, you'd go through with, with him in practice. But he's really matured. Uh, he's really bought in. The thing I love about Amir right now is his competitive spirit. Uh, when you look at uh, guys that are competing every single day, I don't know if we have a player out there that's competing more than Amir every single day. And uh, really proud of him and the, the progress that he's made and the maturity that he's shown. Uh, in the time that he's been here, and uh, he's coming to work every day. And uh, Duop is just at a different level. I mean, the guy's a, a grad transfer. He's been through four years of, you know, uh, football in the SEC. Uh, he he knows uh, what it takes to go out and and want to take care of his body. He show up to practice, uh, take great notes in meetings, and uh, he's doing a great job providing leadership for that wide receiver group. Building off Sam's question, whether it's those guys or ba Dakovan Bailey or whoever, do you sense your wide receivers maybe? have an idea that this is a big time, that there's a big opportunity for wide receiver with all the guys that left after last year? Uh, I, I hope they do, because uh, we need some people to step up. Um, you know, I think the wide receiver group will look a lot different in the fall when uh, we have Janarian back and we have some of the incoming freshmen that come into play. Um, you know, there'll be more guys out there that will, again, comp provide competition in that unit. But uh, this spring is critical for the wide receiver group because we do have to have some guys step up. Uh, they've got to provide leadership. They've got to provide playmaking ability. They've got to learn the offense because uh, can you talk about the Mitchell brothers? You know, it's a completely new system for them, and uh, uh, they're learning every single day they show up. But it is a critical time this spring to develop the depth of our unit. Uh, but I am excited about what it will look like in the fall when we get all the pieces there. Chris, but, just to follow up what you said about Saturday, how, how critical, you know, over the spring game, how critical a day will Saturday be when you 
step back and evaluate the spring when it's over? Uh, Any time we show up to uh, practice, it's, it's important. But when we show up to scrimmage like we will on Saturday, that's even that much more important. Today was really our first time we worked first down, second down, and third down. And, uh, we we did a little move the ball at the end where we were you know going through substitution changes and, and uh, uh, needing to know the, the, and have awareness of the third down situation. Um, we had some issues with that, but Saturday it's got to get cleaner, and it, that's a big part about Saturday. You know, so far we've been doing uh, uh, thud practices, and it's going to be our first time to really go live. So we want to see what you know, how the players respond in those situations. And, uh, Saturday is going to be huge. Every Saturday is important when we scrimmage, even more so than the spring game, because the spring game we use the limit of what we do and uh, you know certain things we do and on these uh, competition Saturdays that we don't do in a spring game. So uh, I'm looking forward to Saturday. I'm really pleased with the progress that we've made through four practices, but uh, Saturday will be a big, um, really challenge for our players. Be a big evaluation tool for us to see where we're at. Coach, how have Miles and Nakia looked through the first four in our practices? Uh, they're getting better. Um, Nakia obviously is uh, further ahead than Miles because he's been playing tight end uh, longer. Uh, Nakia's done a great job of developing himself here this offseason. He's bigger, he's stronger. Uh, he's practicing at a high level. He's demonstrating uh, really good hands in, in the throw game. He's made some tremendous catches out there. Um, I think offensively, we're featured at tight ends more, so uh, those guys are uh, you know feel like they're more of the uh, part of the offense, which obviously excites them when they show up every day. But um, I'm happy with what Miles has done with the, the switch over. Um, he was selfless when he made that switch uh, to help the football team, and it's really helping him because it gives him an opportunity to get a lot of reps, show what he can do, and, and help the football team in a different role. We're six and a half minutes in, so now I'll ask about Gio. Uh, yep. How does he look for the first four practices? No comment. Gio <laughs> <laughs> uh, is progressing. Um, it, it's no secret that you, you guys know this, and I've told you this. Uh, for us to improve as a football team, we have to improve the quarterback position. It has to improve in all areas. It has to improve from leadership. It has to improve from decision making, ball security, and just a flat out production. Uh, I think Gio um, has really connected with Coach Kill, and I think they've got a great relationship. Uh, I think he's uh, obviously ahead of the curve a little bit because he, he got a lot of playing time at the end of the last uh, season. I think what Gio is demonstrating right now through four practices is his decision making has improved. Uh, he's not putting the ball in harm's way. He knows when to pull it down. He's got two hands on the ball good ball security where he wouldn't necessarily have had that because last year he was kind of a wild horse out there just running around trying to make plays, which he's still trying to do, but he's trying to do it a, a, a more intelligent and safer way. Take two more questions. Coach, what can you say about those guys right now filling at the strong side linebacker spot with Tyreek out? Uh, you know, we, we, we ran Russell's at Sam and uh, we, we're playing uh, quite a bit of nickel right now with Ross Douglas, um, but uh, they're competing. You know, they're, they're working hard to to get better, they know what they're doing. They're making plays out there, and uh, you know, uh, it's like anything else when you get in the season. You know, if, if we'll find out who will be our starting uh, Sam linebacker. But uh, you know, if someone gets hurt, someone's got to step in and play. And these guys are, are showing that uh, they're trying to be the next man in. Do you encourage your recruits, the guys who have signed, to, to take in spring practice? Um, and I guess you know, since everyone wants to talk about quarterback, Jonathan Lewis. You know, how how much does he show up? Uh, do you encourage him to kind of just be involved as much as possible during the spring? Uh, the guys that we signed, we want them to be very involved, you know, with the with the NSA rules, which is, you know, they can show up and watch practice. They can't be in meetings, but they show up, they watch practice, um, they get a chance, uh, you know, to watch film on their own on their, their iPads or computers, wherever they got at home. Uh, so uh, we, we want them to be very involved, especially the ones that, that want an opportunity to play early. They better be learning now. And I think, uh, you know, we, we signed. Uh, a very mature uh, group of individuals uh, that I think are going to add competition and depth to the football team, and they all want an opportunity to play early. Uh, they know that they need to be around to learn. And, uh, on Saturdays, especially, we have a lot of them here. You know, we got a lot. Of, we signed 23 players from the Tri-State area, 17 here from New Jersey, I believe the number was, and, and uh, we get a lot of them here on Saturdays to watch us practice, watch individual drills, listen to the coaching points that the coaches make, and I think that's important for player development. Uh, especially for newcomers, <coughs> it's trying to get ahead of the curve a little bit. Uh, so when they do get here, uh, it might be an easier transition. So um, I commend those guys because they've done a great job of that so far. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.